Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to extract color from a black and white picture using Photoshop. I'm going to use Photoshop CS3, but this will probably work on any other kind of Photoshop there is too. Um, uh, you have to note that the picture itself, the original picture, has to be in color. What I mean by extracting color from a black and white picture, I just mean like having parts of the picture black and white and parts of it color. Uh, I don't mean like making a black and white picture all of a sudden with filled with color. Uh, sorry, I haven't uploaded any videos lately, uh, just because I've been caught up with school, but now I'll get back onto it. Um, so, first open up Photoshop CS3 or whatever, CS2 you have, whatever, and uh, open up the picture. You guys all know how to do that. File, open, and then choose a picture. Uh, I chose this picture. Uh, like I mentioned in uh, some of my other previous Photoshop tutorials, was each time you start working with a picture, you should always push Control A C V and that'll make a new layer identical to the background layer just in case you screw up you still have the background layer so you don't totally like uh, mess up the picture you could always start again using the background layer uh, okay I use this picture for one of my photography assignments like this I took the picture and I photoshopped it like this picture is photoshopped to the extreme right now like this flower wasn't even pink it was I think it was like blue or purple or something but anyway that doesn't matter right now it's good enough for the example I'm going to show you the, like the tutorial I'm going to do right now okay so to start off we gotta make this picture black and white okay to do that uh, there's a little uh, circle half white and half black down here underneath your layers uh, windowish thing so just click that scroll over gradient map click that and you should get something like this uh, notice you could have something, it doesn't always have to be black and white at first, it could be something like that at first. But uh, if it's something, if it's not black and white, just click this arrow and uh, click on the black and white and click OK. So now you've made this picture totally black and white. Okay, once you've, ha you've set that black and white gradient map, all you have to do is click over here on the brush tool. Uh, where's the brush tool? Right here, that's the brush tool. Okay, so just click on that. And uh, over here where it says swatches, make sure you click on this black squ uh, swatch. You, you might not be able to see me click it right now because it's probably off the window. Uh, but just, it's on the second line, the most right, on the most right is the black color thing, the little box filled with black just click on that so basically up till now we've just set a black and white gradient map clicked on the brush tool and under the swatches tab we've clicked that black box okay now it's very it's a very simple tutorial I don't even know why I'm doing this um, but now all we have to do is pretty much just color in this picture so I'm gonna zoom up on this picture just so we get a better look at everything that I'm doing uh, that's a bit too much okay so now just click anywhere you want the color to be and just color it in and that's honestly pretty much it okay as you can see I'm kind of fast tracking a little bit just to save time on the video but uh, yeah just you just color in the picture and the, co the original colors will start showing up so over here this is a little bit greenish and here's a stem so that's gonna be green I'm just making this really like messy right now you guys are probably gonna do it a lot cleaner than I am anyways your end product uh, will look exactly like you want to and there's your black and white picture with the color in the middle so it's a very simple procedure not too difficult uh, and yeah anyways guys subscribe it's totally free to subscribe to my videos you're gonna learn a lot of cool stuff I'm gonna be uploading some really insane videos so subscribe if you haven't already and thank you to the subscribers who've already subscribed uh, thanks for watching